Welcome to AccuPoints for Massage Therapists, Spring 2011, Lecture 4. This lecture will cover the stomach channel of Foot Yang Ming. As a quick reminder, we look at the Yang Ming portion of the body, right? It covers the lateral side of the feet, the anterior lateral portion of the lower extremity, the middle of the abdomen, save the midline, the chest, shoulder, the posterior lateral and lateral portion of the upper extremity, and the face and head. And we remember also that Yang Ming is full of qi and blood, and that it is also closely related to yang, and therefore it points on the yang ming area of the body, the channels that run through the yang ming area of the body. Uh, many of them can be good for clearing heat or treating fever in febrile diseases because of the association with yang, strong yang. We'll be focusing on foot yang ming, the home of the stomach channel of Foot Yang Ming. So let's take a quick look at the functions of the stomach Fu, the organ. The stomach's job is to receive the food we eat, rotten it, and ripen it, send the pure to the spleen, and begin the descending of the impure to the small intestine and to begin fluid metabolism. Disorders of the stomach foo may lead to the following symptoms or signs. Digestive complaints, there can be changes in appetite, no appetite, incredibly voracious appetite, which is often a sign of stomach heat. Uh, abdominal distension, bloating, nausea, vomiting, gastric reflux, belching, all of these things can be signs that, and symptoms that, that are associated with disorders of the foo, of the stomach. Let's take a look at the channel. We will give you an overview of the channel here, and now we can go back. The channel begins at the lateral side of the, of the nose at Ying Shang, large intestine 20, right, which is the exit point of the large intestine meridian of Han Yang Ming. The stomach channel begins deeply here, interior. Right? It moves up the side of the nose to the middle corner or the medial canthus of the eye, where it connects with the urinary bladder channel at UB1 Jing Ming. It descends laterally along the infraorbital ridge to Chen Qi, stomach one, which is our entry point. It descends to enter the gum and curves, so it descends down the cheek. If your eyes are looking straight ahead, the points on the cheek with the eyes looking straight ahead or directly below the pupil. Moves down, right? enters the upper gum, right? curves around the mouth to meet the dew channel, curves around to the lower portion of the mouth, the mentolabial groove to meet the conception vessel, the wren, passing through stomach four here. and then runs la uh, laterally across the jaw to stomach five, ascends stomach six. Right? Stomach five is directly below the masseter, so if you clench your jaw, follow the jawline from the chin, and then clench your jaw, the masseter muscle pops out, 
and the point is located right at the bottom. Stomach 6 is located in the center of the masseter muscle. Then the channel moves up or ascends an anterior to the ear, passing through stomach seven, 7, excuse me, and moves within the hairline. Half a sun within the hairline and four and a half sun lateral to the anterior midline. And this is head corner, stomach 8. We can see here that a deep branch moves from stomach 8 to connect with governor vessel 24 here, or do 24. From stomach 5, a branch separates and descends along the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle through the throat to enter the supraclavicular fossa at stomach 12. Okay, so it descends, right? This is actually stomach 11, stomach 12. Okay, it travels posteriorly to the upper back where it meets all the other yang channels at do 14, which is below the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebrae at the level of the lower border of the spinous process of C7. It's do 14, all of the yang channels meet there. And then it descends through the diaphragm to meet with the stomach and the stomach's internally, externally paired zong organ, the spleen. The external branch of the channel descends from stomach 12 along the anterior portion of the body, the anterior chest, four sun lateral to the anterior midline. They call it the mammillary line. Runs right through the middle of the nipple. Yep, that'll be stomach 17, stomach to stomach 18 here. And then the channel moves two sun medially. So it goes from moving four sun lateral to the anterior midline to moving two sun lateral to the anterior midline at stomach 19. It then runs two sun lateral to the anterior midline straight down to the inguinal region to stomach 30 where it then moves laterally to the lower extremity, anterior lateral portion of lower extremity at stomach 31. And we can see here there's another internal branch that leaves the pylorus of the stomach, runs seemingly with the conception vessel here, with the wren. It makes sense because we will learn in a minute that wren 12, which is in the middle of the uh, upper abdomen between the umbilicus and the xiphoid process, is the front moo point of the stomach. So the, this branch leaves the pylorus, moves down, and then laterally to join the, pri the, main, the main branch of the primary channel, or the superficial branch of the cha primary channel, and run down the anterior lateral portion of the lower extremity. It moves down along the lateral portion of first the femur and then the tibia, right? You can see here that it comes down to stomach 39, moves up to stomach 40, and then moves down again along the anterior lateral portion of the foot, crossing 
the ankle, crossing between the second and third metatarsals to end at the lateral side of the nail of the second toe. There is a branch that leaves stomach 36. It's an internal branch and connects to the lateral side of the third toe. And there's a branch, the exit branch, we'll call this, that leaves the exit point, stomach 42, the high point of the dorsum of the foot. And it travels to connect with spleen 1, which is right here on the medial side of the nail of the great toe.